thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to go through some of the Chantecaille holiday items. So in a previous video I went over the face powder. This is a Claude Dew and it comes with this beautiful, um, this is the, the case you've got a piece of plastic on the top and there's gold leaf embedded in it and it's kind of like a three-dimensional effect and it's more of a um, the dusky lilac type color underneath kind of like a you know with a gold accent it kind of gives it like that rose gold appearance and it's got a mirror at the top and then this is like a, a face powder so I've actually I've got that on right now I put it on as a finishing powder and it gives it just kind of like a little bit of a matte radiance so there's a little bit of radiance that comes through but it, it is a little bit more matte than um, some other finishing powders that I use so I think it, it really gives a nice sheen it's got a great cream to powder texture and then there's also this highlighter this is a Claude Briand and so there you go again you've got the mirror at the top and this has more of like a, a tweed like texture and this is um, it's a, a sparkly gold highlighter so I consider this like to be a true gold so when I applied this um, in the previous video you know you kind of it, it gets a nice sparkle really great for a holiday look but I've been playing with it because I wanted to find a way to make it work for every day so I just wanted to show you what I what I'm doing so I'm taking this is the Sonia G mini cheek brush and it's really just a very very small kind of like detailed cheek brush so I'm just getting a tiny bit on the tip of my brush I'm just going to sweep it here and you can actually see you, you see that gold line there so instead of just leaving that as a line and trying to blend it out with the brush I found to kind of diffuse that it works better just after you apply it to kind of spread it with your fingers a little bit and you get more of that diffused look. So there is still a hint of sparkle, but I like this for more of the everyday type of look. So I found when I was trying to blend it with the brush, it was still just too concentrated looking uh, for everyday for me. So it was just a little bit too sparkly and a little too gold. Uh, great for a holiday uh, or a party or you know nighttime, but for just a general everyday, I just wanted like a, a tiny glint of the gold and I found that just kind of spreading it with my cheek a little bit just gives you more of that light look to it. So I've been enjoying it that way. And then the other items I wanted to go through are the lip crystals. So there are three lip crystals out. Um, I'm, I'm not positive, but I know one of them is a returning color and two of them I believe are new but I'm not 100% on that. So there's a red called Carnelian, and these lip crystals are basically embedded with sparkle. So everything in their holiday collection is, is pretty sparkly. I have the luminescent eye shade on in Elephant today, and I just did a light application. Um, so, you know, it's only a little sparkly, but this can be built up as well to get very sparkly. So we've got this. This one is called Carnelian, and this is, you know, it's a, a square gold tube. Um, it's not super shiny, but it's not matte. It's kind of like in between. Um, and then this part up here is, is more of the shiny gold. So you can see that there's a, a little bit of a difference in those tones. And then when you put this on, it is a magnetic top as well. You got the um, Chantecaille logo on the top. So let's swatch this. Okay, so you can see that it's red. You've got some pink undertones in there. You've also got a little bit of, you know, because some of the, the glitter pieces, you know, it's kind of red with like more of a, a goldish undertone. So you've got warm and cool tones mixed into there. Let me um, deepen that up a little bit so you guys can see that. And then we also have, let's go to the next darkest. This one's Rubellite. And I believe this is the one that is the returning shade. So it's more of a berry. And just look at all that sparkle. These are so pretty in person. 
I know, you know, wearing sparkle on your lips, you know, may not be an everyday occurrence for most people, but I thought it'd be really fun. And um, as with, you know, Shantakai products, they are donating. So I believe there's a tree that gets planted for each lip crystal you purchase. So this is just going to be more of a, a nice pinkish berry. Um, it's, it's one of those berries, though, that has more pink tones in it. So it's not, not super deep. And then the last color is Rose Quartz. And on this one, you can definitely see the gold glitter uh, a ton because the other two, the, the sparkle kind of matched the lip color a little bit better. But this one, you know, is definitely going to be a little bit golder looking. And this is much sheer and it's kind of like a light pink with gold glitter. So I'm going to swatch all these on my lips so you get a chance to see them. And I will be right back. Thanks. Okay. So I'm back with the Rose Quartz and you can see it's definitely sparkly and it gives kind of like a metallic look to the lip color. So it, it kind of looks a little bit like a metallic pink. And if you want to make this even sparklier, just add more. So, you know, that just kind of amps it up. It looks even more metallic and a little bit sparklier. Uh, great for like New Year's or a holiday party in my opinion. Um, I will not be wearing this every day, but I do think this is nice for special occasions. And this color, you can put this on um, so that it's more of a sheer wash with just a bunch of glitter. So when, uh, um, when it, you first swipe it, if you, you know, kind of do it like a light swipe or even just dab it, you're going to get just a tiny bit of the lip color and mostly just the gold glitter. Okay. So this is the very light application of the Rose Quartz and you can see that you've got some pink pigment but it's not that different from my natural lip color so it's going to be like a light metallic pink but really you still have a lot of that gold sparkle. And this is, you know, again primarily the sparkle. You've got some embedded in the lip color. You see that? Nice. So it does seem to go all the way through the bullet tube. Um, it, it's embedded in there and then, you know, obviously you're going to get extra from the outside. So, all right, I will be right back with Rubilite. Thanks. Okay. So this is a light application of Rubilite. This is the berry shade. And you can see that it's, um, it's a bright pink. So, you know, a bright berry pink. It's not really, it, you still have like a bit of a metallic look to that. And you can see that the sparkle in there is going to be more of like a red and a pink sparkle. And it's a nice bright pink pop of color. Again, great for a holiday or new year. I don't think um, it's really, unless you wear, unless you really like a lot of sparkle, I don't think it's necessary to have all three of these. But, um, so if you're looking for something glittery for the holidays, you might want to consider purchasing one of these for a special look, but, um, definitely not something I'm going to wear every day. <laughs> so. Okay. And this is the Rubilite built up. So this is a few layers of it and it just gets a lot more of that, um, magenta pink metallic look to the lip color. And so it's, it's definitely a very cool tone pink. So it's, it's kind of magenta and you can see the per, uh, pink and red glitter more clearly. There's definitely a lot more of that in here. So again, this would be a nice bright pink pop of color. It looks very New Year's to me. So thanks. thanks. Okay. So this is Carnelian. This is just one swipe across. And the, all of these colors, you know, are, are rather sheer for a lip color, so you can build them up. Let's just see. Okay, this is probably about as dark as I'll be able to get this, but it's a really nice shade red. I like this shade of red. And you've got, you know, red and pink sparkle in here, maybe a little bit of gold. I feel like I'm seeing gold, but when I look at the tube up close, I don't actually see any gold, so not 
not sure about that. But just one thing to note, as I keep taking these off and putting on another color, the sparkle uh, is really hard to get off. <laughs> so, you know, you take off all the color, it comes off just fine, but there's just so much sparkle residue. So just keep that in mind. Uh, these are incredibly sparkly. So I think, again, they're really pretty, but they are super sparkly. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, after taking this, the lipstick off with makeup remover a couple times and really rubbing over my lips, this is how much glitter has remained. So I've got a lot more scrubbing to go, um, but I just wanted to share with you. So, you know, th th it's definitely hard to get the glitter off. Okay, so this again is the rose quartz. I decided to just wear it for the day and go with the sparkle. And I just wanted to give you guys my final thoughts on these lip crystals and the Chantique holiday items in general. So I've already, you know, my final thoughts from the other video, I haven't really changed. I both really like these. Um, this is definitely a gold highlighter. It's not something I'm going to wear every day, but when I diffuse it out, I do like that, um, that look. So that works well for my skin tone, but I really think on deeper skin tones, um, medium and above, that this highlighter would be absolutely gorgeous. And again, um, every product, aside from the Eclat Dew, everything in this uh, holiday line is very, very sparkly. So, you know, you can put it on lightly to get just a little bit less sparkle, but if you're looking for a lot of sparkle, you can pile, pile this on. It would be really amazing. Um, but a little bit too dark for me to to do that because on my skin tone it's just a little bit too too gold um to look to look look as nice as it would on other people all right so i definitely like those i'm glad i purchased those and i would repurchase these again um the lip crystals i think they are a great holiday item i like all three colors they are probably not something I'm going to wear on a regular basis. So I can see wearing this to, you know, sometimes I have some um, events that I have to go to in the evenings, you know, certain parties where people get really dressed up and glitzy, like, you know, kind of like a New Year's party and stuff. So I have a few of those throughout the year um, for my husband's work. And then something like this, I think would, would work well. So I will be wearing them um, periodically throughout the year. If I were to pick colors, I would, if I were going to a really nice um, holiday party, I would definitely go with the carnelian, the red, because, you know, it can be really a sheer red, or you can deepen it by adding more, and I think you could really layer this on top of some other things. All of these are sheer enough that you could layer these on top of another color. Um, I think that would be a great way to, you know, if you wanted to change a color at all. So I think... The red would definitely be my pick for Christmas. Could use it for any of the holidays. So I think this is probably the most versatile color, the carnelian. I personally really like light lipsticks. So if I were to wear sparkle on a more regular basis, I would go with the rose quartz. Um, and I will be wearing that today. But in general, I think since these are such special items with all of the sparkle and I would use them for special occasions, my top two would be the Rubellite and the Carnelian. And if I were to only get one, I'd go with the Carnelian because I just think it's such a great shade of red and it's just, it screams holiday to me. So those are my opinions and I hope this was helpful. In Hello, some way. I am back with an update. It's the end of the day. Um, you can probably tell by how red my eyes are. I'm very tired and this virus that I have has just been um, kind of kicking my butt a little bit. Uh, anyway, I've been wearing the Rose Quartz all day, and I've reapplied it two or three times throughout the day. Um, definitely plenty and plenty of sparkle payoff. Actually, I've kind of gotten used to the sparkle, so, you know, it, it doesn't startle me as much as it did initially. So I think with the light application, it's a little bit more wearable than I thought. I still don't intend on wearing it on a regular basis. But I think if you did a whole matte look, um, eyes, face, everything was very matte, but then you did the sparkle lipstick, I think that would be a very nice touch. And um, I think that would make it slightly more wearable. But since I have 
the luminescent eye shades on my lids um, and I have the gold highlighter and the sparkle on my lips. For me, that, that's definitely too much for an everyday look. Um, so, rose quartz. Let's talk about the lipsticks real quickly. This is the ingredients list and you can see mica is actually down, it's down here. So it's towards the end of the list. If you're not familiar with mica, mica is a very sparkly rock. So when they use it in cosmetics, you know, it can be ground up very, very finely. Um, and because the sparkle is actually coming from mica and not from a synthetic glitter, there are no like big chunks. You can't feel it. And after reapplying, I, I really don't feel any grittiness or anything. One thing I have noticed throughout the day is fallout. Can you see the sparkles on the rest of my face? <laughs> So, um, some of that is from my three-year-old who kept touching my face all over, basically wiping off as much makeup as she could today. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, some of that happened prior to um, that incident. So, there is definitely fallout from the lipsticks if you wear them for a long time period. All right, now, another thing to note about the texture. So when you wear the lipsticks, I think if you were to wear this on a daily basis, it would dry out your lips. It is slightly drying. It's not too bad. Um, you know, once in a while, it's not going to be that drying. But I think just having so much mica in the lipstick, there's no way to make it truly moisturizing. So it's probably about as moisturizing as you can get um, with the level of sparkle that is here. So it is just slightly drying, so it's just a, a thing to note. Um, I think if you put like, you can probably seal this with a balm or something and that may help a lot. Let's see here, I have, actually let me put that on. Just some Jack Black chapstick. And let's just see if that maintains the sparkle level. So it's still super sparkly, hasn't changed the color at all. Um, yeah, so I think if you top this with like a clear lip balm or lip gloss, you know, you won't have any sort of drying feeling, um, you know, on, on your lips, but I, I still think underneath it will start drying out if you wore it on a regular basis. All right. So overall, um, my final thoughts for the lipsticks, as I mentioned before, I think these are great for a special occasion or a holiday. I think to be the most versatile color is the red one because it would be fantastic for a holiday party. Um, I really like this rose quartz color in general. It's just that and it's a great everyday color without all the sparkle. So um, I just personally wouldn't wear all that sparkle. I am glad that I got all three of these, but I was actually looking online at the pictures of the new Givenchy Spring Collection and they have some lipsticks coming out just like this uh, with the high level of sparkle. It's like, hmm, I'm trying to decide if I should pre-order any of those or not, but I don't know. They have so much sparkle. They look like they're, the, the packaging on them is absolutely gorgeous, but the actual lipstick bullet looks, I mean, it, it's got the sparkle all on the outside and everything as well. So. I think I'll probably pass on those just because how many sparkly lipsticks can you really have? <laughs> so um, that's my opinion on the lipsticks. Just a follow up on the highlighter. So I've been playing with the highlighter throughout the day. Um, you can see I actually rubbed you know a, a good portion of the middle off just to make sure that the sparkle was really carrying all the way through the highlighter and there wasn't any overspray or anything that you know was affecting the shimmeriness. And unfortunately, when, when you apply this, it is just going to be a shimmery highlight. So I did, you know, spread it out with my fingers and I think that definitely diluted the glow and it made it a little bit less sparkly, but you're still going to have some sparkles. So, you know, just keep that in mind. All of these products from Chantecaille for the holiday collection are all sparkly pretty much, except for the A Cloud Dew the face powder. So this again was more of a matte radiance. Everything else for holiday is high sparkle. The fall collection um, eye shades, the luminescent eye shades like elephant and so forth, those are all high sparkle. They're actually a very similar um, level of sparkle. They're actually all of these products are made with mica. So 
Um, you know, you're not going to have a grittiness that's going to be super smooth and there aren't as many issues associated with something like mica as, you know, a synthetic plastic. The synthetic plastic pieces are much uh, larger. So because of that, you know, it's actually an environmental concern. Um, you know, for, you know, think about everything that washes down the drains and everything. So actually, you know, pieces of glitter and so forth are terrible for marine life. So there's a concern with the synthetic glitter with that. Um, and that's actually one of the reasons that I've decided the um, Pat McGrath Astral Blue, the Astral Blue lip balm, you know, that one, the more you wear it, the more glitter you feel. That one has the synthetic glitter pieces. And, you know, not only is it bad for the environment, um, but, you know, you can feel that one. Since this is mica, you really can't. But, um, you know, it is going to be very high level of shine and sparkle. So just to know, uh, I do prefer sparkle with mica. It still makes that nice, smooth finish to it. So if you are in a store and uh, that has any of these Shantahai products, um, you might just want to like swatch it on your hand or something and just, just look at that sparkle because it's just a, a good thing to know what the mica sparkle looks like versus a glitter sparkle because when you see future products like that, it, it can kind of help you um, gauge what it's going to look and feel like. And um, that's definitely something that I'm going to look for. I, I definitely prefer more of the mica sparkle just because it's more comfortable to wear. And I think it's just it's a little prettier having the tiny bits of sparkle, even though there's a lot of it, versus light chunks. So um, that's my personal preference. I still love my Pat McGrath stuff. So um, and I still wear the Astro Blue Star. I do wish it was smaller particles, but you know, just something to note there. And I think that sums up all of my opinions on the Shantikai products. Um, in a couple days, I'll be putting out a video with uh, going through basically all of my holiday stuff that I purchased this year and what are the things that I think are the best. So what are my favorites that I keep reaching for? So I will have that up. Um, I'm not sure exactly what day, Wednesday, Thursday, but... I'm going to try and have that up by Black Friday so you guys can take advantage of any holiday deals. I know some of these brands, they don't really have any good um, holiday deals. So, be, you know, if you can find something, that's great, but you may not be able to. Although, since these things are limited edition, um, you know, sooner is better. So, sorry for all the rambling. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video, which will be the last of my holiday stuff, um, the by Terry holiday stuff that I purchased. So um, I will see you soon. Thanks so much and have a great day.